Oh, hey. Didn't even see you guys there. Man, you're looking pretty sexy today. Did you know that? Have, has anybody told you that lately? Because cause you are. Oh, what's up, guys? Um, yeah, as you can see, our reactor is the reactor. That's what I'm calling it is uh, up and running and we've got experience mode on and you can see these guys falling in here let's go uh, have ourselves a little peek yeah look at that running pretty nicely here look at that sweet Yeah. So, as you can see, I've done a lot of work, and uh, I have completed the hardest part of this this monster trap that I dub the reactor, properly named, as this is our reactor core. There's our reactor, reactor core, power source. Get it? Good. So, I've got some nice little pillars there that one is feeding our wire and this one is going to be for transportation however I do not have enough lapis blocks I will have to get some more but for the time being I wanted to show you guys what's up and I will actually let's uh, turn down our sound here I will actually have a tutorial coming up within the next couple days on how to build this thing because as you can see I mean we've got a lot of mobs Okay, let's let's test the other cool feature about this thing. Mm-hmm. Oh look at that. Music discs. Music discs. And music discs. <laughs> That's cool, huh? Experience mode, music disc, and what what else can this thing do? Seems like it already does so much. Got plenty of gunpowder, plenty of everything. What else can we do? Let's uh let's turn on item mode. Oops. I forgot to turn it off. Let's uh fix that real quick. Kinda goofed. I forgot that uh, <laughs> you need to turn this thing off and let the monster stop spawning before you uh, switch over the item mode. Reason being is um, they don't drop as far and then mobs get caught up in the thing and it's just a mess. So let's let these last couple of guys drop in here before we uh, flick the switch again. One more. Told you. Okay. That was pretty good. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that actually. Alright, so if you notice, I can flick this. This opens up, and uh, water is coming, stopping right there. I'll, I'll explain what this does before I turn the monsters back on, and also explain why that glowstone didn't retract. So, this stone here is our experience mode item mode switch hmm. oh I guess there was uh, somebody else that decided to spawn okay he was a straggler this uh, stone stone brick is our wiring for our experience mode slash item mode comes along here this is um, actually not necessary anymore as I change some things. So it goes along here and vertical wire all the way up. This one is our on and off for the monsters. These are inverted so my, our levers can be like they are. That's about the only reason for that. This feeds into this block which feeds into that redstone and vertical wire up back here for the experience mode item mode lever we have a 
redstone wire that is turning off this or er, controlling this piston. The reason the piston is still extended is because our monsters are off. So we do not have access to this being pulled back. Um, I should explain what this does. When this gets retracted, there is a ladder there to keep us from falling. However, if we did fall, nothing big is going to happen of it. And there is a water stream that is back there. So it go flows eight blocks and stops, and at the very end of it, there is lava. A drop with lava. So we could AFK here. Items come and fall on us. We collect them, what items we don't have, so we can fill our inventory with, let's say, gunpowder or arrows or whatever you want, but most useful mob drop is gunpowder, obviously. And the rest of the items will fall and get washed into the lava, so as not to crash your system. The block stays powered from this, I mentioned, so that way that doesn't, there's no sense in this being pulled back if monsters aren't spawning. And uh, offshoot goes to this vertical wire, which goes here, and this controls, let's see, let me grab some dirt. No, maybe? Do I have dirt laying around? No, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll use some cobblestone. That's Oh, I have sand. That's fine. That'll work. Okay, so when this is turned off, so uh, experience mode, these get powered. That stops the uh, flow of water here. That flows eight blocks to stop right before our drop off. And then back here, these get unpowered. So these sticky pistons retract, which leaves a gap for the mobs to fall down. I will be explaining this much more in depth in a tutorial if you guys are interested or are lost. And this is inverted, so this sticky piston retracts and lets some water down, which flows eight blocks to right there. And I heard an enderman somewhere. So that is the wiring for that. Now, like I said, this is turned off. So we can... Let's do that. There we go. Goops up a little bit, and the monsters should fall and die up there so that way their items wash here. Let's let this go for a second and I'll turn it off and head up there and explain a little bit more of what I've done. Come on. It does take a second to get started as the items do have to flow a little bit of a ways before they can get to you. Let's see, we got something spawning up there? Yeah, we've got stuff spawning. There we go. I heard some some stuff start. Doop -de -doop -de -doo. I don't have ice, so this takes a lot longer. There we go. First of the mob drops. Now, if you're wondering or saying to yourself, man, this seems really slow, items-wise anyway, that's because I have five out of the 35 possible spawning floors. <laughs> so it is running at a very low percentage of efficiency and you saw how many mobs we were getting at that one point. So one of the cool things about this, as this being a half step, flip it to experience mode, pushes you out, those items get trapped but that's okay. They come down here and eventually mobs will start falling here too. Alright, let's turn this off. Mobs will start falling down in a second here. That's okay. Uh, a quick experience or enchanting area over here. I'll make this look a little nicer. I also ran into a cave that I had half slabbed off due to slimes. We've got our zombie chest. Zombie and slimes. And yeah, we got our skelly chests. Alright guys. Uh, I'll explain this more. This is our music disc farm. It is a sideways fence gate, half slab, minecart with furnace, 
another half slap. So that way the um, skeletons do not destroy anything, cannot hit you, and do hit the creepers. So somehow they still have a line of sight. You can see the fence gate there. They still have a line of sight and they are able to shoot at you, not able to hit you. It is very convenient. Okay, let's head up. And uh, I also have a nice little way down, which, now ah, see, there's the Enderman. I'm not really sure how, oh, he's stolen two blocks, what a jerk. I'm not really sure how those guys get down here. I'm not really sure where they spawn either. I have yet to figure it out. Alright. This, I will have a much, much better way of getting up once I get my last, I think, nine lapis blocks. So I'll have to do some mining. And this will come up here, and we'll be able to come right in here. Um, this is our inner workings. I believe I showed some of it in my last video. I will have more on a tutorial. See right now the experience mode is flicked on, so they are being washed to there. And unfortunately I can't see anything, but like I said, tutorial, and I will explain everything. There's more of our vertical wiring up. Oh, who is making noise? I hear you. Where are you? Hmm. There's no way he's up there. No way, I say. Oh my goodness. You're ruining my video here, buddy. Let's go outside. He might be outside. There is a possibility. Very low. But there is a possibility. More of the vertical wiring going up. And I'll briefly show... Oh, hi! Ah, what a jerk! I guess there should be a torch there. And just for symmetry. Huh, how the heck did that guy do that? So, that's weird. Oh yeah, it's because I didn't have light, duh. Let's drop down here. Let's go kill him. Get rid of him. I don't need you mucking up anything. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, hi. Okay. So this is all confusing, I'm sure. Oh. Nope. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I didn't have these lit up. My fault. Makes sense. Okay. Are you kidding me right now? Man, what a bitch. Oh well, at least he didn't destroy any redstone. I was lucky. He just destroyed pretty much glass. He destroyed that piston. I don't know how. I think he got like these. Uh, he got like these two blocks. That's that's okay. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. <sighs> Man. You bring out the worst in me, creeper. Pissing me off. Okay, no more creeper issues. Please. Thank you. I'm trying to record a video here. Oh, where was I? Okay, up to the spawning floor as we go. Sorry about that inconvenience. More of the vertical wiring. And we have up here, this is the shutoff mechanism. As you can see, it's a little redstone intensive. Um, if you were guessing that, that's because it is. It is incredibly redstone intensive, which is actually good for me because I usually don't have a reason to have redstone, and now I have more reasons than I need <laughs> to have redstone. It's kind of awesome. Are you, who... I heard him growling.
What? How in God's name are they spawning? You guys, this is... Man, I so meticulously did all this. Very meticulous. They shouldn't be able to walk around in there. The water should be flooding it. What? How are they being hurt by the sun? This is making no sense. Are they being drowned? I don't. I don't even know what's going on right now. I will investigate that later. Oh my goodness! So there's five floors. I think we can add another thirty, maybe twenty-five or so floors before we're reaching our our limit there, and uh, mobs won't be able to spawn in our range. Man, that is that is huge. And it's not even anywhere near completed. So what else have I done? I don't know, that's pretty much it. Which is a lot, actually. It is an insane amount. I haven't half slabbed this all off. These it's all a slime chunk. This is four slime chunks. How did that happen? I picked a random spot, four slime chunks. All next to each other. Normal people? Oh yeah, that's cool. No, this is annoying. Anything that isn't half slab slimes spawn on. It's terrible. <sighs> Very annoying. Very annoying. Very annoying. Okay. That is my reactor. I will have a tutorial on this coming up soon. I have recreated this on a test world and it brings down more mobs than I can possibly kill. So it is about as effective as an end farm, which is pretty cool because it drops gunpowder. Gunpowder is TNT. TNT is awesome. So yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> I've done a lot of work on this thing. It is, I should mention, this is a design or slash concept of JL2579s and pandas and actually all those guys. They built this um, on their server. Not this, actually. I have modified this somewhat extensively from what they have. Um, the basics are about the same, such as the spawning floor is a turn-off mechanism. Um, the experiments mode is about the same. Mine's a little different. And this is entirely different from theirs. This um, this central collection point here is um, is really where I did my modification. It took a lot of work, and um, I'll be explaining that in a video. So look forward to it. I will be uh, posting it in the next couple of days here. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't record the creeper blowing up my stuff, but it was too heartbreaking to record. I uh, I had to stop it because I was trying to kill him, and I get about 30 FPS with this. I get about 90 without fraps running, so wish I would have had my my diamond sword on me. I would have been able to kill him. Damn it! Why did I just? Why didn't I just leave him alone? run away like I should have <sighs> oh well there we go so that's it it's a lot I've been busy um, I will continue to work on this and build it up higher as I get redstone this takes a massive amount of redstone per floor um, every spawning floor takes 419 redstone that's a lot. It's a lot of redstone. So, and also takes a lot of other materials, such as stone bricks. It takes like mm, 10 stacks per floor. It's something crazy. So, I will have everything, I will have all the numbers that you need for every section of this build. I will have it broken down into the kill slash collection center, the kill mode center or portion, the experience mode portion, 
and then the spawning floors. I'll have everything broken up and uh, links will be in annotations in the beginning of the video that will take you to different parts if you get lost or if you need to repeat it and you don't want to go searching through the video. I think I'm rambling at this point so I'm going to end it here. Um, this is an awesome awesome build. I will have to um, get more lapis to create our easy way up which I'm going to do with minecarts I'll record that and have that in the next video that way we can just click 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 all the way to the top and then I will have a little section here vines 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 to stop our descent pretty cool hopefully so that'll be it uh, I will be doing some more work around this place for the next video and hopefully I can get at least another floor on here every floor adds couple hundred spawning spaces for enemies so it's it's pretty nice alright guys that'll be it if you like this video please leave a comment and a rating letting me know how I did share it with your friends and if you haven't already please subscribe have a good day